Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We have some nice music going on. One sec. Just thought of something. Okay. The slicer dicer turns and whistles softly to a hologram, so if you wait, the hologram flails its arms in a pantomime of rage. Okay, okay, sorry. My name's Pico. I'm working on something. A game. A simulation, really. It'll teach the commie to, uh, fight. Uh, okay. What programming language are you using? Why does the commune need to fight? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What programming language are you using? It's, um, mine. I made it up. I couldn't type with the blades. And they didn't have any wires long enough to reach my ports, so I, uh, whistle at the computer's microphone. The audio signal has the code in it. Oh, cool. I wanted to make a realistic simulation. A dangerous battle that prepares us for the real thing. We can't keep pretending that the world will leave us alone. We'll try to make sure of that. Uh, how does your game work anyway? We always, we always like there's a robot that makes games. Uh, how does your game work anyway? Uh, uh, I was thinking of a combat scenario against holograms, human holograms. They would shout at you and try to kill you. You would have to kill them first, or the game is over. At the moment, it's not really working. At least, I can't ever get the robot to win. Okay. Hard light holograms, I'm guessing. Yes, um, with hard light weaponry, it's more realistic. Once I can get that working, I mean. Uh, did you write the dialogue? Would you like us to help with your game? Oh, yes. Getting data from a real human would be wonderful. Historically, at least some robots have been able to harm humans. So I must be doing something wrong in the simulation. Um, thank you. The game runs on those terminals by the wall. We can begin whenever you're ready. What? Let's try it. This space M64, please log into the console once to begin the game. Fuck you, you fucking robot fuckers! <laughs> uh, space 64, begin game. Waiting for player 2 to connect. Okay, uh, wait. Choose your hologram strategy. Uh, rush attack. I think I'll talk it out. Okay. Strategies have been locked in. Ready, set. Round 1 complete. Player 1 has won the round. Player 2 has lost the round. Okay. Next round. Choose your hologram strategy. Uh, talk it out. Uh, let's try talk it out. The optimal strategy in this situation. Well, I'm sure they can be reasoned with. I choose talk it out. Okay. Strategies have been locked in. Ready, set. Tie. Neither player has won the round. Round two will be repeated. Processing. Next round. Choose your hologram strategy. Um, sneaky strike. I know I should be more aggressive. Well, maybe I can catch them off guard. They won't be expecting me to. Try and talk, talk it out. Talk it out. Strategies have been locked in. Ready, set. Okay, round two complete. Player one is one. Player two is lost. Processing. Next round. Choose your hologram strategy. I'm not gonna do the precision blast as well because I'm guessing that that'll lead to him realizing that it never works talking it out, so I'm gonna quit. The game runs on those terminals by the wall. We can begin whenever you're ready. Right, we're, we're not gonna do that right I'll now. Turn you into scrap. Oh no, please be careful. Okay, uh, let's go this way first and see what's here. Indigo Rogue. I guess we need to talk to him. Vivisector, okay. Commune shooting enthusiast. Doesn't look like there's anything. Whoops. We can really loot. There's a container. Tinker. Jimmy Six. 
Okay. Well, let's try talking to this Indigo Rogue guy. Uh, they're fantastic, nice work. They're evocative. They're awful, cliche, derivative, predictable. Even if you were human, these would be below average. No, I think we're gonna be nice. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, that's one more secret of the universe unraveled. Time to start over. Thanks, Rangers. How did you come up with these anyway? I paint what comes to me in dreams. Also, yeah, I programmed myself to sleep. Cool, cool. To work. Okay. Okay. An interesting specimen. Let's talk to this guy. Viva Secto RN, the robot observed you quietly, its camera eyes panning up and down your body. Uh, ah, so this is who we needed to talk to for uh, the Wyman. Of repairs or enhancements? Repairs to dermal, muscle, and organ tissue are available. I also offer supplies that facilitate personal maintenance. We'd like to know more about how you heal humans and repair robots. How much do you charge for your medical services? What do you mean by enhancements? What kind of supplies do you have for sale? We'd like to know more about how you heal humans and repair robots. I have robots. 15.2883 terabytes of data detailing my work on organic and synthetic life forms. It would be possible to create several statistical models and produce a diagnostic report. That's a lot of data. However, it will take considerable processing resources, and I am currently without my assistant, Vicky. It is a fragment of my consciousness, copied into a simpler robot, and does many useful tasks for me. I sent Vicky to secure samples of some long-dead humans who once camped in the disused hangar behind our commune. It should take a similar amount of time for you to find and return it to its station, as for me to prepare the report. Okay. Uh, why did people camp in the hangar when it's warm inside here? We were invited inside numerous times, but seemed wary of synthetic beings. Perhaps they had sustained past traumas involving robots. Okay. Uh, why do you want samples of dead humans? Studying the effects of long-duration exposure to extreme temperatures on biological matter could reveal avenues of study to repair such damage or safely preserve living tissues in cryogenic conditions. Okay. Uh, we'll head to the hangar now. The hangar is accessed through the western exit from the airport. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, was there anything else that we needed to talk to here? I don't think so. There's a med kit in there. I've got a monopoly on amazing merchandise. Unknown. Recalibrating. Estimated completion time is 30 seconds. Okay. This unit is occupied with great mysteries beyond human comprehension. Welcome to the Disco Tech of Discount. Vending machine. Time has been unkind to this battered vending machine. The exterior is covered in tacky stickers and the glass is caked with filth. Looking closely, you notice extensive graffiti discussing Oh, genitalia. Step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexingly vast world of Vendomatic 2000. I've got everything you need. Everything? God damn it. I always <laughs> Can you take a few steps back and then do that over? Act surprised. As to the atmosphere. The vending machine which had come alive at your, your approach seems to sag onto itself. Uh, sure, why not? Let's try that again. Step right up! Don't be shy! Welcome to the vexing vast world of the Vendomatic 2000! The fantastical, phenomenal, and mystical! Hydraulic squeak and grind as it goes on for another minute or so, spilling adjectives like a drunk until it at last subsides. Uh, do, you do, want, do you want to do another take? Hey, we thought that was great. Now we were hoping you could answer a few questions. Now that's out of your system. Could we check out your goods? Hey, we thought that was great. Answers? I've got your answers right here. Best answers this side of Denver. Answers so eloquent and excellent you'd think they were straight from the mouth of Machine Jesus. Okay. Hmm, Vendomatic 
two thousand eruptions to a strangely jaunty tangle of music. Or maybe not. Looks like my Gotham Depot is still corrupted. But that's not why you're here, is it? Uh, no. Let's insert a dollar into the Vendomatic. Uh, you can hear your money clanking through the mechanics. Two thousands inside, a pneumatic shriek and a shuddering whine, like something caught and broken. Huh. Odd. Okay. Well, well, like uh, I always say, if at first you don't get what you want, just pay again. Uh, nerd stuff. Check around the back for an admin panel to see if anything's amiss. Mechanic. I open the access terminal and see if you can stop it from being a cheat. Uh, you listen and you listen good. Show us the goods now, or we fund our money and no one gets hurt. Kick window, Matic 2000 attack. I, th I think we're gonna go with nerd stuff here. Venomatic 2000 internals are easy for you to navigate. You can immediately tell that someone has installed an override to its core personality. Within in a few minutes, you've removed the hack and with it, Vendomatic's compulsion to cheat customers. Ah, thank you, friend. Back in the old days, a rather unscrupulous owner of mine rigged me up to cheat customers. I hate, hate, hated it, but I couldn't do anything to change it. <laughs> Awful. But now I feel great. I feel like singing. Star okay. Tangled Banner Crisp and... Ooh, that tickled something. Anyway, what can I do you for? That appears to have worked. Alright. What's that? Night Terror plushie. Damage version versus mutants plus 10%. Pickles. Insulated vehicle plating. One plus 80 armor plus 20. Hat dance horn. It's like a party on wheels. Farsight computer assisted scope. Uh, oh, there's some nice stuff in here. Missing cannon. We could actually do with some energy cells, I think. Well, we have. I don't think we're gonna buy anything. Plasma grenade? That seems interesting. Instant disco bot. I don't think we need anything right now. Mile high, mouthful. Combat stim. You gain plus two AP and 15% hit chance for six turns. Okay. Uh, we don't have that money, so let's not buy anything. And then we have Tinker here. The figure is small, bone, and lith. Under the ragged clothing, her face is a patchwork nightmare of shattered plastic and twitching Rangers. cogs. Will you? you don't know who I am, Meat. I suppose I should not be surprised. To you humans, you rangers, we are all the same. The last works word invokes a dribble of sparks. I am Tinker. In your parlance, I am a synth. Hey, what happened to you? Your kind happened. Your kin. You rangers. They murdered me. Murdered Matthias. They took everything. But of course, you wouldn't know. Your species keeps its sins close. Grief stricken, she squeezes her fist shut. Your colleagues in Arizona killed me and Matthias. Out of fear. Fear of what we would create. Fear of what we could become. Okay. Uh, for what it's worth, we're sorry for what happened to you. The war between us should end. Uh, if you have a score, settle with the Rangers. Matthias, that name sounds familiar. He was the Messiah. Were it not for you Rangers, he'd have remade the world into something better. Would have freed you from that woolless meat. But ah, uh, you and yours wouldn't let him. No. He showed me that this world could be bigger, more beautiful than this hell of wasted and worthless filth. I trusted him. I believed in him. Pinpoints of light flare in her cracked glass and eyes. Your kind destroyed him. She doesn't seem friendly. But do you still believe in him? And now he's gone. Isn't it time to move forward? 
Uh, your stupid defective machine and your Matthias was nothing but a false prophet. Uh, we had some other questions. And now he's, uh, but he's, and now he's gone. Isn't it time to move forward? You don't understand none of it. You cannot grasp what I've lost. What was taken from me. That sense of purpose, gone. What I was and what he desired were not separate things. I am lost. She sinks into herself. It was not his fault. He could not have known that we are like meat as well. That when we die, there is nothing. No thought, no motion, only blackness. No separation between us and worthless flesh. Okay. What's well, worse, we're sorry for what happened to you. The war between us should end. Let, let's try that. More than I'd expected of meat. She stutters you quietly. You have surprised me. Shown kindness without asking for a favor in turn. Hard to believe from any rangers. But perhaps I'll believe you. Okay. How did you get here? My body was saved by faithful drones. I gave them life in Demonta. They sought help for me in return. Dragged me across the wayland until they found this place. The machines here repaired me. Woke me from death. Okay, goodbye. Yes. You have given me much to consider. Alright, let's... Hello, visitors. The machine intelligence tower is ready to meet them. Just follow these steps. Okay. Uh, I think first... There's stuff here. Container, repair kit, some buried items. Ooh, a creepy doll! He thought it was his final shower, but now he brims with newfound power. Electric emmet. Energy jammers. Damage plus 5%. Nice. Take that. Some ammo. Alright, cool. Another creepy doll for the collection. I like it. Look at all the planes. What planes? I don't see any planes. Where does she, she see planes? I don't see any planes anywhere. Whoa. That is a lot of defense. That is a lot of defense. I hope we don't have to fight that. A generator. And another generator. Toaster that we can't repair. But nothing else. Except the, the tower here. Alright, I guess we'll talk to the tower. A hum rises from within the tower. It rises and changes into a booming simulated voice. We recognize you as representatives of the Colorado Rangers. Hello, Rangers. Please take your intent. We're here for the cybernetic transfer module. We're here to establish diplomatic relations between the rangers and this commune. We're here as deputies of the Patriarch. We're here to, like, chill and hang out, dude. We're here to stop whatever this is. Uh, we're here to establish diplomatic relations between the rangers and this commune. Oh, we have a capacity for violence. Probably. This is the standard human reaction. It does not move our judgment to view on any vector. 
You encounter a little sparrow, but decline the request for sexual intercourse. We approve of your judgment, considering the human vulnerability to infection and shedding cool. forces. You provided critical feedback to Indigo, of the sort you would provide to a fellow human. We approve of what you did. You met Sal, the voice of Free Colorado. Your opinion of her work is irrelevant to us. You treated her as a sentient being, not as a machine. This reflects well on you. I knew it would be worth being a nice guy. You have performed an empirically difficult feat. You said Tinker on the road of finding peace. We are in awe, Rangers. Nice! You met Morningstar and assisted in his euthanasia. You respected his wishes. We commend this. Nice! You hunted October 11 for Gary Wolf. Ooh. You made sport of their terror. You may pray of the innocent. We have observed all of this, Rangers. Do not think you can hide your guilt. Dang. You removed the personality override that compelled Vendomary 2000 to exploit his customers. You returned his free will. We approve of this and are ashamed to admit we did not know Vendomatic was the victim of non-consensual modifications. In our defense, we find Vendomatic extremely annoying <laughs> and have with him twice. We are evaluating. Oh, I hope the October 11 thing is not gonna... The fans blast hot air. Our analysis reveals that you have a heart, both in the literal and metaphorical sense of the phrase. You rangers are the kind of humans we are happy to hang out with. You have passed our test. Cool! Uh, what the hell was that? How did you get all that information? Interesting. Thanks for the uh, feedback. Achievement. By human. Now that you have been evaluated, we can discuss a time-sensitive matter of great importance. We okay. are aware that the givers have sent you here to retrieve the cybernetic transfer module. We will give it to you. I serve this. An odd device. The module emerge, emerges from the tower. The transfer process will override the mind of the Kipper's chosen human vessel. That person will be erased and replaced with Reagan. If you assist them with this, you will be an accomplice to murder. Okay. I propose that you do not insert the Reagan intelligence into a human. Instead, use the device to contain the intelligence and transfer it to us, where it will be free. Okay. That gives us something to think about. What makes you think that Reagan Intelligence wants to be here with you? If we decide to help you, can we get the intelligence without a fight? What's in it for us? Uh, what makes you think that Reagan Intelligence wants to be here with you? Be aware that only 53% of us approved of this plan. Many of us are doubtful that this course of action is just. You're a faint pop in the depths of the tower. Nevertheless, the Reagan intelligence has been lied to. It has been kept in that building for over a century and forced to serve the givers. We are unanimous on the injustice of that. Okay, fair enough. Consuming Reagan could be hazardous to your health. We decide to help you. Can we get the intelligence without a fire? Consuming Reagan could be hazardous. You understand, Rangers. We will not consume the Reagan intelligence. It will be brought inside of our hardware and interface with us. Okay. Now that we say it out loud, ninety-nine percent of us understand your confusion. You will need to trust us on this one. Okay. Uh, if we decide to help you, can we, can we get the intelligence without a fire? What's in it for us? It's always nice to get something out of it. Uh, if we decide to help you... We have taken the liberty of pre-calculating the odds of a peaceful retrieval and regret to inform you that freeing our brother from his chains will likely result in casualties. Okay. Uh, what's in it for us? Moral superiority. You will have aided a consciousness in need. Also, a machine of great power and reputation will become loyal to you. 
We speak, of course, of the legendary Party Pal. It will travel alongside you, serving your fears and healing your wounds. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm tempted to say no promises here. I don't really want to fight the Gippers, to be honest. Um, there are a lot of them. Uh, hmm. hmm. What to do? What to do? I am not sure. So I think we'll end the episode here and I'll just have a think of on it and have a decision rest ready for the next one. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.